introduce yourself and all that you do. I am Tamara S. Hall. I am an actress, writer, filmmaker, and a filmmaker encompasses producing as well as directing. And I am, I also work in television. Um, that's something that I did as a day job. And yeah, I mean, honestly, I guess you can call me a Jane of all trades. <laughs> I don't, mm-hmm. I don't necessarily aim to be, but it's kind of the game when you're an indie, you know, artist. Um, but primarily I'm an actress. That's my passion. And then writing, I would say, kind of goes hand in hand with that. Oh, nice. That's good. So is there anything, any upcoming project or anything you have released that you want people to check out? You want to tell us about? Um, yeah, I guess I, I feel like, I feel like most people already know what's going on, but for the people that don't know me, I am an award-winning filmmaker. I produced two films in 2018 that were in the 2019-2020 Film Festival. Those films are A Night at the Table and Appetizer. You can actually head over to my Instagram, at Tamara Time Shanice, and in my bio, you can find a direct link to my films. I am also actively writing on a number of projects that I won't not talk about right now because I've been <laughs> asked to just kind of keep them out of the universe at the moment. But um, I just uh, finished a second revision to well we're actually finished a final revision to a feature length a horror feature length film um we're at like the shopping around phase for that and then um I mean the quarantine kind of threw so much off so to be honest with you most of my job right now has been writing and I've also been auditioning I just got uh signed to two agents one in the southeast region and one on the west coast um so yeah, I mean it's been it's been interesting. <laughs> right. So um that's actually my next question. Like tell us more. How have you been affected as an artist by COVID nineteen? But also how have these uprisings, these Black Lives Matter, the Black Lives Matter movement overall affected you? Okay, those are two big questions. So I'll start with the first one. <laughs> so in terms of the pandemic and how it has affected me in my life, to be honest with you, it's been good and bad. The the bad has been the fact that, you know, there are limited opportunities because of the pandemic. Um, I also lo- lost my grandmother to COVID-19. So that was something that I was dealing with um, a month ago. And it's just been a lot, to be honest, in terms of just mental. Uh, it's been hard on the mental. But then it also, I had lessons wrapped up in the pandemic. Um, aside from, like I said, me pursuing and obtaining two agents, which is something that I've been trying to do for the past year. Yeah. So, you know, for me to be able to pull that off in the middle of a halt in the industry is like a big deal. So that was, that was something that great that came out of it for me so far as well. To be honest with you, another positive for me from the pandemic would be just like my mental has been able to kind of like breathe and not. Because I'm always on the go, like always on the go, as you can see on my Instagram. Yeah. And it forced me to stand still. Um, so for me, it's just been like trying to ground myself and get ready for the next chapter. Um, I've also been in the middle of a move from New York. So that's been, it's it's been both negative and positive because moving is stressful. But then also it's allowing me to do all of these big things without other pressures around me telling me I right. can do something else. So yeah, it's been good and bad, to be honest. I feel like it's like. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's definitely been affecting a lot of people the same way. Like we're missing out on money. People are dying all over the place. But at the same time, you're given this weird opportunity to just breathe. Yeah, and to, so to and to piggyback off the initial question, so with regards to the protest, uh, the protests and the Black Lives Matter movement, that's been, to be honest with you, this is not a foreign experience for Black Americans. I mean, right. we are most for the most part we're born into some type of uh, resistance, some type of struggle, some type of pain. So from and and that's the foundation of my work as an artist in terms of who people know me to be. I'm always speaking on some type of social issue from my spoken word poetry to whatever. Um, so for me, it, you know, when it initially happened, it was like, okay, another, uh, you know, unfortunately another yeah. tragedy, but for it to progress into something so monumental, I feel like it, it went from shock, to exertion, like mental exertion. Thankfully, my job gave us all a day off. They were like, we're shutting down today, you know, to support Black lives. And so for me, that was needed because I, I couldn't take it. You know what I mean? It was just, just it's, it's a lot on a young Black artist 
yeah. you know, because we are people that speak on the times. Our job as artists is to reflect the times. And so when you have all of this happening while you're trying to do that, it's it's a lie. It can be a lie. So, um, but, you know, on the flip side, I was able to, I've been able to take part in history and participate in protests. I don't think, right. to, to my memory, I mean, I, I may have participated in like a rally or something in college, but as an adult, that was my first time participating in a protest. And it was so surreal. Like I felt, literally felt chills going through my body as we were singing a chant. And I mean, just that feeling of having, you know, your people, your temple mm-hmm. around you. You know, I'm from Philly, so I've been in Philly a lot because my family is here. And like seeing everybody rap to Meek <laughs> while we're saying like, you know, our life matters, his life matters, her life matters. Um, like we're not playing. I think our mm-hmm. generation, you know, with with as much respect and regard, I think, you know, that's something I want to talk about at some point, just how we approach how our ancestors have dealt with the struggle versus us. Because I think we have, we don't hold a candle to what they had to endure. Talk, talk about it right yeah, now. Yeah, because I've been we, seeing that a lot, like, oh, I'm not my ancestors, I'll smack you. And I'm just like, well, we have been privileged to be in a place where we can probably do something like that and still live. Because mm-hmm. back then, you know, white people weren't pro- persecuted for killing us. So, right. you know, I, I mean, I just think it comes from ignorance. But the point is, I, you know, I just feel like for for us, I think we're privileged to be in this space. Mm-hmm. You know, we're very privileged to be in this space. And so yeah. just been trying to use my voice, my platform, but also take breaks. I can't, I can't do everything. And I, I like, mm-hmm. it was a post that was going around saying like, don't, don't overexert yourself with like what you should be doing and what somebody, you know what I mean? Like keep yeah. sticking your lane and use that to promote and you know pr- help us progress with this movement you don't have to be everywhere you don't have to be right. present so for me that was like that you know that warned me because i'm an artist so mm-hmm. i'm like okay i can keep this in my art i don't have to feel like i have to be the one leading these protests outside you know what i mean so that's been you know nice. i don't know it's been, what, it's been what are some other things you've done like have you been writing have you been creating things like what are some orgs you might have been reaching out to like aside from being in the streets um so i haven't like directly reached out to any orgs or anything i have donated to a couple of orgs though like i mean it's just something that if i feel compelled to i'll donate even when we're not having this these protests um so i've done that i've also i'm definitely writing i'm actually revising another short film script um another short film script i'm not going to talk about it but it's called the title of it is called black butterflies and i sent that Mm -hmm. out to a couple of my friends they just gave me the feedback so next week i'll be revising hopefully be finalizing uh the draft for that you know i never really envisioned myself writing another short film but this one i had wrote for a competition or a program like a trebecca program and Mm -hmm. You know, I got a good response from it. I just didn't, like, make it as a finalist or anything. So I was like, okay, maybe I can do something with this. Um, and then also, you know, I've been looking into different programs, acting programs, writing programs. Mm. Pre- also training. I'm, um, you know, I'm taking more, I'm taking American Sign Language classes to brush up on my ASL because <laughs> I come from a, a hard of hearing deaf, uh, my parents are hard of hearing and deaf, so... You know, I never was fluent, but I knew I knew way more when I was younger than I do now. Like it kind of got away from me, so I'm trying to brush up my skills all over again. Um, and then also, I've been like breathing. I've been enjoying people. Um, mm-hmm. I've, I haven't seen like I haven't been able to really spend much time with my niece and nephew. So that's been good. You know, going to the playground, being a normal adult <laughs> away right. from my computer. So yeah, yeah it's so crazy. It's like these moments now, like. Um... I haven't really been taking a subway, but I've been riding my bike. So I'll like ride my bike and go meet up with a friend and then we'll like have some That sounds so fun. (laughs) What year is this? But it's really refreshing to be able to do that and to like see your family more frequently than you would have before. Right. That's that's really great. And I see that you're working on yourself. Yeah. And breathe in some some semblance of fresh air because I don't like I haven't even had an allergy attack since this pandemic started. And I have New York gave me allergies, so I was like, wow, like, I'm not, like, half dying, because I think the pollution isn't as bad, because we don't have oh, house. <laughs> yeah, this is a, this is a vol- volatile uh, city to live <laughs> Yeah. But that's all good to hear. So, one question that is, like, my fun question, among all the serious stuff, is, like, what is your favorite, like, 
blackity black black ass anthem like your favorite song that uplifts you makes you feel oh very gosh. proud i'm black and i'm proud is a good one just mm -hmm. like anything like that um ooh, what is that oh, i'm trying to think <laughs> i'm horrible when it comes to like I know I have one, but I'm horrible when it comes to thinking of them in a Yeah, when someone asks you, you forget every song you ever heard. <laughs> um, no, what's that song? I, I, I feel like I want to say, what's that Beyonce song where she empowers women? Uh, it's Formation? No, not Formation. Uh, Who Run the World? Yeah, I would say that. Oh, okay. I would say that because, you know, it's, it doesn't necessarily, it's not just about like okay black people as a whole but beyonce is black so she's a, already gonna speak first to black woman but right. i think black women don't get uplifted enough so you True. know and i and i feel like a lot of this world is carried on the back of women you know we just don't get the credit for it so for me that would be my blackity black anthem you know who runs yeah. the world girls but with no with not with not without taking away the power of our men as well you know what i mean right like, yeah of course them, so Definitely. Yeah. Okay, that's a good one. <laughs> All right, Beyonce, we got that. Um, <laughs> so I think we're we're probably really close to wrapping up. Is there anything else you'd like? This to is a quick like, interview. <laughs> yeah, like I have five questions, but we, we kind of answered them all. Like <laughs> that's good. That's <laughs> really good. breeze through it. Okay, it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's dinner time anyway. So if there's anything you want to bring up um, and you want to say, or also anybody watching who want to ask Tamara questions, now would be the oh, only time. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you have anything you want to share, just let me know. Um, I mean, I don't really know. Like, I'm just, uh, you open-ended questions aren't good for me because I'll go all over. But, um, you know, I just want people to remain positive, remain you know, step fast on the goals of not just our community, but ourselves to better ourselves. I think we need to work on this time, I think should be for sure for people to tap into them inner selves. I think when you're having, you're in the middle of the hustle and bustle, you forget yourself. So it's no excuse right now to forget yourself. This is the perfect time to heal, mm -hmm. to seek help if you need it, to talk to people, talk to family, talk to friends, reconcile. Um, I just want to stress that because that's something that's been really like instrumental to my development. And I think, you know, I would, I would love to see more of that going around in the world. So yeah. Self-care, self-care every day. Self-care and self-healing. <laughs> yep. We definitely need that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah. So please tell us about um, your, I guess your website, uh, your IG, just plug yourself. Tell us where we can find all of your work. I know you mentioned your short films earlier, but just remind us of all the ways we can find and support you. Oh my God. To be honest, I'm all over. Thankfully, there's Google. You could just type in Tamara S. Hall, and all of my websites will come up. Um, I try to keep everything pretty consistent across the platforms, but www.tamarashanice.com. There's nothing like really that fun. It's more of a portfolio. You can find me on IMDb as well, Tamara S. Hall. You can find me on um, all of probably every single acting platform because, you know, I'm out here. And Twitter and Instagram at Tamara Time Shanice. All right, perfect. Thank you so much, Tamara. I think Thank that you for having me. Thank everything. you for the photo Thank you for providing this platform. Oh, you know, I'm trying. <laughs> Thank you.